Today we are going to make the Olsen mask the easy way. A lot of health professionals prefer this mask because it has a pocket for a filter. One thing I like about this mask is it has a nose guard which keeps it close to the nose and avoids those steamy glasses. There's a link in the description below for the pattern. I like to use this rotary cutter which is super handy. Remember, you only need to cut out the number one pieces or the number two pieces. Once you download the pattern and print it out, you can easily cut out the three designs. I picked up this flat sheet for $5 which makes a lot of masks. Now I'm going to clip the pattern to the material using my other favorite new tool, these awesome little sewing clips. And if you have one handy, it's nice to use a metal ruler to do the straight edges. Now you just iron each edge down about a quarter inch. Here's one I've already ironed. Take your face pieces and place them face to face and clip them along these two edges. Now we'll just sew across this edge. I like to backstitch on these pieces because they're going to be washed a lot. After that, I just flip it right side out and push along the seams to poke the fabric out a little bit. Turn it inside out again and lay it flat. We're going to use this piece as a guide to build the inside of the mask with the pockets. Doing this, you don't need to mark your fabric as suggested in the instructions. Take the mouth pieces and put face to face. Now grab the other pieces and sew along each edge like this. We're just going to clip it along the straight edge and sew along the curved edge. Take that and lay it onto the face pieces like this. Take your cheek pieces and assemble them like this. Make sure the patterns on each piece match the patterns of the mouth pieces. Make sure both fabrics are on the back side. Now all you have to do is clip it in place. When clipping the top piece, make sure you let go of the bottom piece before clipping it together. When you go to clip the piece for the other side, make sure the mouthpiece is always on top or facing out. Don't overlap the cheek piece over the mouthpiece here. I did that a few times before I got it right. Now once it's all clipped, we just need to sew the one inch sections. Okay, now we can put it together. Place both pieces face to face starting at the center seam. Open the seams you sewed here and clip on this seam, matching the seam lines together. Going across from the center on each side, clip, clip, clip. One more side to do here. Now we are ready to sew the entire thing together. This is exciting. 
Make sure to backstitch on every corner for about a quarter inch. Since we're inserting a nose bridge, I'm cutting away the extra fabric along this top edge so it's easier to get the piece of metal close to the top. Cut each corner at a 45 degree angle and remove the excess material. Now just turn it right side out. I use a knitting needle to poke the corners so they are nice and square. Iron the mask flat. Now I am going to sew very close to the edge of the mask all the way around. I will backstitch on both ends and overlap the stitches a bit. Iron the mask flat. Now time to add the ear loops. You can use any elastic for this part, but quarter inch elastic is the best. We're using hair bands because they're readily available at the dollar store and stores are out of elastic right now. Take your hair band and slide it over the end of the fabric. Fold the fabric to the inside of the mask over the hair band. Now we're going to sew as close to the hair band as possible so we have plenty of fabric for the mask. Otherwise, it may be too tight. Sew the other side. Time for the nose bridge. I used these prong fasteners I found online, but you may have some lying around. Using my kitchen shears, I'm just going to take this prong fastener and Trim this edge here to a rounded corner similar to the other side. And I'll get two pieces out of this one. Slide the metal piece inside the mask along the top middle edge. Try to get it as close as possible to the top. Use clips to secure each side, holding the metal in place. Sew from the top left edge down the first side about a quarter inch. 
Make sure to remove your clips before you get to them. Now swivel and just sew across, just below the metal. Then up past the top edge on the other side of the nose bridge. Now the mask is finished. Wasn't that easy? If you liked this video, please subscribe and comment below. And thanks for watching. Everybody stay safe.